Tyler Perry shared a sweet tribute to legendary singer Diana Ross for her 80th birthday earlier this week, despite the superstar not answering his telephone calls for years. Ross is not only a singer who got her start as a member of the Supremes, but she is also an accomplished actress who starred in 1972's Lady Sings the Blues, and Perry has been dying to get Ross to work with him for years. The media creator told Essence back in 2020 that despite his persistence in trying to get the The Boss singer to star in his next film and once being given a resounding, no, she simply ignores his requests. She's been ignoring me for years, said the filmmaker. She's the only person that I have dreamed of working with that will not return my phone calls. Regardless. Perry still has love for the endless love singer he wished a happy birthday on Instagram on March 26. He captioned the post, Happy 80th birthday to Ms. Diana Ross still beautiful, still stunning, still singing, still elegant, still the boss. The post included several pictures of Ross throughout her career. Still beautiful, sexy, classy, elegant, and amazing wrote one commentator under Perry's post. A second said, I love Ms. Ross Happy Birthday Lady Sings the Blues is my all-time favorite movie. When I was younger, my oldest sister took me to see that movie, that s when l fell in love with Diana Ross she s the best. A third added, Happy Birthday Queen. A truly beautiful talented sister paved the way for so many in the entertainment industry. So courageous as well as gorgeous. Perry also showed his love for the I'm Coming Out actress when he attended her concert at Radio City Music Hall in New York City last June. The 54-year-old shared a video clip of himself attending the concert with Oprah Winfrey's bestie, journalist Gail King. Can you believe that at 79 she is still rocking stages around the world, he wrote. She is still in full voice still singing in the original keys, still glamorous, still beautiful, still a legend, still the one and only Ms. Diana Ross. I'm outside all summer long. Can you believe that at 79 she is still rocking stages around the world, she is still in full voice, still singing in the original keys, still glamorous, still beautiful, still a legend, still the one and only Ms. Diana Ross. I'm outside all summer long pic.twitter.com l8wyoo38nw. Tyler Perry at Tyler Perry August 7, 2023. The singer's daughter Tracy Ellis Ross also shared a tribute to her mother on Instagram. The actress's post included several pictures of Ross throughout the years, 80 pictures, to be exact one for each year of the singer's life. Oh how I love you mom, wrote the blackish star. 80 incredible pictures of you in 80 seconds to celebrate your 80th birthday today. Between 1976 and 1985, Ross had three children Rhonda, Tracy, and Chutney put out one album annually while doing multiple tours, starred in several television specials and movies like Mahogany and The Wiz and produced her legendary 1983 Central Park concert. Ross' two sons, Ross Arninis and Evan Ross, were born in 1987 and 1988, respectively. Amidst shattering records, breaking glass ceilings, and setting a new bar for style and glamour, we, her children, were always her priority, added Ellis Ross. As I often say, Diana Ross the beloved global icon is legendary but she doesn't hold a candle to my mama. Ross continues to perform around the world showcasing her talents. Her last and major role in a film was in 1999's Double Platinum alongside Grammy winner Brandy. But who knows what it will take for Perry to get her back on the big screen.